Hi, I'm Henrik Mortensson. Welcome to my series of book reviews. I read a lot, partly because I enjoy it and partly because it's part of my job as a management consultant. I want to share some of my best reading tips with you. Managers are often faced with very complex problems and there are methods for dealing with such problems. The best I have come across is the logical thinking process. The thinking process was originally designed by a team of management experts led by Dr. Eliyahu Goldratt. Over the years, the process has evolved. The most recent step in that evolution is the logical thinking process. William Detmer has written several very good management books, but his book about the logical thinking process is by far my favorite. I always have my somewhat dog-eared copy handy when I work. The book covers a lot of ground. There is a brief introduction to the theory of constraints, a management philosophy based on the science of systems thinking, and then there is a detailed step-by-step -step description of each of the thinking process tools. The first is the intermediate objective map for constructing an explicit hierarchy of measurable goals. Current reality trees for modeling complex systems and finding root causes of problems. Evaporating clouds, easy to use and very powerful conflict resolution diagrams. With ECs you can construct breakthrough solutions to difficult problems without compromise. The solutions are win-win. Future reality trees allow you to design the future. There are high level roadmaps that take you from where you are now to where you wish to be in the future. Future reality trees are also used to explore negative side effects of actions and counter them. This is known as exploring negative branches. Having a high level roadmap is fine, but you do need to make things actually happen. For that, there are prerequisite trees. A prerequisite tree is a work breakdown structure. It's a detailed map showing how to achieve one of the objectives in a future reality tree. A prerequisite tree can easily be translated into a project plan. There is a strong recommendation in the book to use critical chain project plans because that gives you about 25% shorter project plans than MS Project does with a considerably higher reliability, up to 90-95%. Planning alone does not make things happen. The last chapter is about change management. The chapter is insightful. Pay particular attention to the connection between change resistance and power in the organization. Also, the sections on leadership and the difference between rewards and reinforcement are worth the price of the book alone, I think. Whatever you do, don't miss the appendices, Appendix B in particular. Appendix B contains invaluable material on how to create executive summary trees. I will readily admit, this information saved me from botching a job a while ago. Thank you, Bill. There is an extra feature worth mentioning. With the book comes a CD that contains TLT, a program for drawing all the diagram types in the book. I live in Sweden and the book wasn't readily available from Amazon, so I bought my copy directly from ASQ, the publisher. Delivery service was excellent. I got the book just a few days later. The only downside, just reading this book won't make you a brilliant problem solver. You have to practice and use the techniques. If you do that, you will be able to deal with problems you thought were impossible to solve before. Be seeing you.